dun, 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 dun. Mr. War, what are you doing, really? I have an earworm. I have this earworm. It won't leave me. It's been in my head all day. Luke Skywalker. Hey, I love doing that emperor. That guy is just scary. All right, let's see if this is going to work out. I had some technical issues here. Let's see if I can get this thing to work for me here. All right. It says, the objective is we're going to be using tape diagrams to model fractions as division. Uh, it's like a step up of what we've been doing. We were actually interpreting fractions as division. But we are going to do some fluency practice first. Okay. Is this not set right? Let me see. All right. And let's get you out of there. Thank you for getting out of the way. All right. Let's go ahead and get started with a little bit of fluency. Fluency. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be writing like this. And at home, you would say, of course you would say one-tenth. Okay. That is one-tenth and that is written like that. Okay. Now how would you say that as a decimal? Did you say 0 0.1? I hope so. That would be one-tenth. You get the idea here. We could do a lot of these. Like this one. That's right. That would be a tenth. Very good. With an S because it's plural and as a decimal. Oh my goodness. I think I heard somebody out there say 0 0.8. But I'm not sure. If I'm hearing things, I'm probably... Ooh, one should worry. Yes? Okay. I have... That's right, one hundredth, which is equal to, uh, I mean, as a, as a, well, actually, you know what, we could just write it, the word form, there you go, and it sort of looks neat, all right, and then, of course, is a decimal, that's right, 0, 0.0, oh, come on, be nice, 0 0.01, okay, cool, yeah, I had some problems, and look, at this doesn't want to stop, don't do anything with that, thank you. Now, be nice. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do some others. Let's just flip the page because I don't have another page of a little fluency here. Come over here again and grab a pen. All right. Let's see how we do with red. See if red works out for me here. Oh, no. Don't do that. Okay. Last time I lost my cursor and I couldn't see it. So one quarter is equal to how many hundredths? Hey, you guys are good. That's right. It's 25. 25. All right, and as a decimal, that is, okay, did you say 0 0.25? Good, this is good fluency, good fluency. Let's do another one, like, ooh, let's do, we could do some really, really hard ones, for example, like 11 20ths, okay, is equal to, oh my goodness, it's challenging. Okay, did you say 55 hundreds? I hope so, because 20 times 5, right, will give you, 100, and then 11 times 555. So that's a decimal. Yes, I don't know why it does that. Okay. Should be, you got it, 0 0.55. Nice. All right. So I think we can do some others. Let's do a little bit of these with fractions as division. We'll do a couple of them. Again, this is kind of fluency, so if you're kind of shouting at home, that would be really cool. For example, like, if we wrote 1 divided by 2... I know you would say, if I told you to solve, you would say that would equal, I hope you just said one half, because that's what one divided by two is. Remember, that can be uh, expressed uh, as a, um, just as a fraction. That's what that is. And if I gave you this one, seven divided by two, and you had to solve that, you would say, hope you're saying seven over two. Okay, that's where the glitch is coming in. Okay, seven over two, same thing. Hopefully that will stop soon. We sure hope so. And of course, seven halves would be the same as, I'm just coming here and choose that same pen again. Maybe that'll make it go away. And that is going to equal three and one half. See, I lost my cursor. I can't see it anymore. Come on, come on. There you go. Hang in there. Hang in there. We got to get through this video. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and move on to another page. Uh, we could do some more fluency practice, but I think we're actually pretty good at this point. So let's go ahead and get onto the concept of element. And there that is, right there, my first problem. As you can see, I use that a lot, don't I? As you can see, hopefully you can see. It says that eight tons of gravel is equally divided between four dump trucks. How much gravel 
is in one dump truck. Okay, I like that. Well, it's important that when we look at this right away, I believe, and, and to see this problem as um, a division problem, because whenever we're taking a certain quantity and we're dividing it equally, you know, you, you need to be thinking division, okay? And so I get my pen over here and I say to myself, well, if there's eight tons of gravel, I'm going to divide that by four. And that means how much gravel is in each one dump truck? That's right, two tons. Simple. But now it's, we, need, we need a model. Remember, we are talking about model with, math, model with mathematics. Is that a tongue twister or what? Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Anyway, so here's my little tape diagram. It's just a simple rectangle. These things are beautiful, though. You could do a lot with a tape diagram, right? So I'm going to come back up here and draw in some lines. Let's do some red. So if I'm doing... If I basically have eight and I've already divided by four, that's quarters. Why don't I just put this into quarters? Modeling with mathematics, yeah. Okay, and of course we had the total quantity was eight. There we go. And basically what we're trying to find out is how much gravel was in one dump truck. Well, that's, this is that one little unit we're looking for, one. Because we're dividing it by by four four dump trucks, we're trying to find out what's in one. So I'm going to mark that one unit. Hmm. Because when you look at this, you can think of this as each unit. So four units, because there's four of them, we do know is equal to eight. And don't do that, please. Thank you. <laughs> I know I'm talking to my I'm talking to my, my smart software now. That's kind of strange. So therefore, so four units is equal to eight tons. So that was where we can come up and say one unit then must equal, that's right, the number we had up here, 8 divided by 4, what we were doing. Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh, let me see if I can fix this. I don't know. So 8 divided by, so that basically what we're doing is so we have 8 divided by 4, then was equal to 2. Okay, 8 tons. So this is one unit here, right? We have one unit here, and that one unit then is two. So we can kind of think of this guy. Let me draw my little stick guy. There we go. Little happy face. Do, 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 do. Hi, fella. His, well, it looks like his tongue sticking in his eye or something. That's kind of, okay. And we're just going to say, wow, look at this cool little hand. Yeah. And then his little thin body, he probably should eat at Lolita's. It works out for Mr. Wara. He could get, come and gain a little bit of weight here. Okay. Woo, there we go. And then, like, you know, the little, the little bubble. He's thinking. And what is he thinking? He's thinking something. He's thinking, hmm, is my answer reasonable? Is two is between one and three. Yeah, I guess you guys knew that, right? Between one and three. It is. That's amazing. Yes, so that seems like reasonable because we're looking at our problem as we can see four dump trucks. We're dividing that two straightforward. So how reasonable is that? That seems pretty reasonable answer to me. So I'm going to write each dump truck held two tons, okay? of gravel. I won't write that part. You get the idea. And um, that will cover this first problem here. We can also do a check which would be good. Uh oh. We can also do a check by um, well, we could take the 8 divided by 4 which equals 2. Alright, that's pretty straight. But we're gonna go on to the next page because we have yet another problem. Now we have 5 tons of gravel is equally divided between four dump trucks. Okay, not quite as easy as the last problem that we had uh, because the numbers aren't very compatible. Four, I mean eight, I'm sorry, eight, what was it? Eight and uh, four compatible because of factors, I mean, four times two is eight, but here we don't have that. We have five and four. So again, writing our division problem down would be five tons, right, divided by four, Okay, but we do know that's going to equal 5 fourths. So we already learned that, which is the same as 1 and 1 fourth. So we, we've already solved the problem. 
right? Now let's go ahead and, and show it modeling mathematics. Okay, and bring this thing down. I don't know, for some reason, it seems like he should be a little fatter. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and just use a regular pen, I suppose. Um, grab one of these. Yeah, I think red will work for me. And we have a total here, don't we? That's right. That whole total is five. You have to be able to do this on our assessment. So then we would want to divide this. Um, if this whole thing is five, but we're not going to divide this into fifths because basically we're dividing it into fours. We want to go ahead and do that into fours, just like so. That's the five tons for four dump trucks. Again, this one here becomes that one unit, that one unit or that one dump truck. And we just need to determine what that is. Well, what is that? Well, we know that four units... And that's how many units we have here. One, two, three, four. It has to equal the five, right? The five tons. And again, we come back to, well, well then what's the one unit? That's what we need to determine, okay? And the one unit here, well, we just already determined is five-fourths. Well, if one unit is five-fourths, then that does mean that that one unit in here is five fourths. Now, if this unit is five fourths, then that would mean that each one of these units is five fourths. Okay. Now, it would seem reasonable, wouldn't it? Logical that if we were to add all of these five fourths together, wouldn't we then come up with five? I don't know. Maybe I'll get another color pen here, and we'll just find out. So five fourths we already determined is one and one quarter. So we could actually check our work by taking one quarter, plus, I'm sorry, not one quarter, one and one quarter, one and one quarter, plus one and one quarter, plus one and one quarter. And look what happens here. We end up with one, oops, two, three, four. And then we have this one quarter, so that's two quarters, three quarters, four quarters. We actually end up with five when you add those all together because that makes a whole. Beautiful, how you have to love math. Okay, you have to, I'm telling you. All right, going on to the next problem here. We have a three-meter ribbon is cut into four equal pieces. See how much easier this is getting easier and easier each time, don't you think? I think it does just get easier. At least, I think so. Now we're going to come down and, oh, I need to bring down my tape diagram. Or well, you know what? Actually, we were going to do the first. Let's go ahead and write our division equation. If I can get myself a pen. Come on, pen. Okay. Three divided by, needless to say, we do know the three divided by four is three quarters. Okay. We're going to bring down our tape diagram that's so conveniently located up at the top left. And I'm going to open this guy up a little bit, I think, like so. All right. And this is really like, been there, done that. Doesn't it seem like we've already done this before? Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and label that hole as 3 meters. I'm just going to put 3M, the M for meter. And then it says it's cut into four equal pieces. Really kind of been nice that we've always been able to divide into fourths. And so we keep writing this, well, four units, right? That's all of them together. The four units here is going to equal the three at the top. Oh, I lost my, get back to my red. So that's going to equal uh, three. And then we have one unit, and I can't see my cursor again. One unit is going to equal three fours. Okay, so up here, oh, come down. I'm guessing where it is. All right. Okay, and then, so obviously that's going to be equal three fours. And we did the same thing before. I feel like I'm losing it. Okay. Now, we can check our work. And we can do it this way. And we're going to do this one just a little bit different. Okay. We're going to say four, okay, times three quarters. Well, that's like say, saying three quarters, okay, plus three quarters, plus three quarters. It's kind of laughing at me because I don't know where I'm writing. I'm writing blind. Okay, three quarters, three quarters, three quarters, and three quarters. We can add all those together. Now, let me see where my point is. Oops, it's up here. Ooh, this is kind of fun. 
It's like I'm in the dark. Okay, so you can see all the denominators are the same, so we can add those, 3 fourths and 3 fourths. Well, that's 1, 1 and a half. So that's like saying over here, plus 1 and a half over here. And now we have our 2, and then plus 2 halves is going to be 1. Well, we have our 3. Oh, I'm telling you, this is wonderful. Wonderful. Okay, you know, there are a lot of problems that I could do. But I think that's where maybe I'll take a little bit of a break, possibly. Um, ooh, I don't know if you can tell what that is. Yeah, is. You got it. Well, you're good. And it should disappear with a little lock sign there. Kind of strange. So let me go ahead and just do one more thing here because that's can't find where I'm at here. And I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hey, I had to do that. Where did that come from? I don't know. My friends, it is time to say goodbye. That's right. It's time to go. And so with that, I'm going to leave you with something really special. And of course, live long and prosper, my friends. <laughs>